Base 6 construction of lead acid battery and tubular gel battery 12 volts. Battery Basic What is battery? Battery is an electrochemical device that stores and delivers energy. Energy is chemically stored in the battery and when the terminals of the battery are connected to a resistive load, electrical energy passes through the circuit. How a battery works Battery works on the principle of law of conservation of energy. In batteries, during discharge the chemical energy is getting converted into electrical energy. During charge, the electrical energy is getting converted into chemical energy and stored in the system. Battery classification Batteries are of two type. First type is primary batteries. Primary battery is for low-cost consumer applications. It have irreversible electrochemical reaction. It cannot be recharged. Primary battery have specific modes of applications. Examples of primary battery are, zinc carbon 1.5 volt, lithium manganese dioxide 3 volt. Second type of battery is secondary batteries. It have stationary long life applications. Secondary battery have reversible electrochemical reaction. It can be recharged. Secondary battery have different modes of applications. Examples of secondary battery is, lead lead dioxide, 2.1 volt, nickel cadmium 1.2 volts, nickel zinc 1.8 volt. Lead acid battery classification. Lead acid batteries are of two types. First type is flooded lead acid batteries. Flat plate, examples of flat plate are, industrial, automotive batteries, e-rickshaw. Tubular plate, examples of tubular plate, industrial. Traction, solar batteries, e rickshaw. Second type is valve regulated lead acid batteries. AGM construction, examples of AGM construction, SMF batteries like 7 ampere hour, 26 ampere hour, 42 ampere hour, telecom batteries. Gel construction, examples of gel construction, gel batteries. AGM gel construction. Note that lead acid batteries. Invented in 1859 by French scientist Gaston Plant, are the oldest type of rechargeable battery. Basic Battery Construction Batteries are made of five basic components. Positive plates Negative plates Separators polyvinyl chloride corrugated type material Polypropylene container Sulfuric acid and fumed silica, in gel batteries Plates are comprised of two parts, the grid and the paste both made of lead. The paste is soft and is the active material that chemically stores the energy. The grid provides a skeletal framework for paste adherence. Grids are made of lead alloys that resist corrosion and conduct electricity to and from the plate. Positive and negative plates are stacked in an alternating fashion, with separators between the plates to prevent electrical shorting and to enable battery acid to flow back and forth. A battery cell consists of two types of lead plates, a positive plate covered with a paste of lead dioxide and a negative made of sponge lead, with an insulating material, separator, in between. The plates are enclosed in a plastic battery case and then submersed in an electrolyte consisting of water and sulfuric acid, in figure. Each cell can store 2.10 volts. Note that. Lead acid batteries do not generate voltage on their own. They only store a charge from another source. This is the reason lead acid batteries are called storage batteries, because they only store a charge. Storage capacity of the battery is defined in ampere hour. Six single 2.1 volt cells when connected in series makes a 12 volt battery, which when fully charged will produce a total voltage of 12.60 volts. In figure. Basic battery operation. What happens when a tubular flooded lead acid battery is discharged? When a fully charged, battery is connected to a load, a light bulb, the chemical reaction between electrolyte and the lead plates produces the electricity to light the bulb. This chemical reaction also begins to coat both positive and negative plates, with a substance called lead sulfate also known as sulfation, shown as a yellow buildup on plates in figure. This buildup of lead sulfate is normal during a discharge cycle. As the battery continues to discharge, lead sulfate coats more and more of the plates and battery voltage starts decreasing from fully charged state of 12.6 volt, in figure. 
When the battery is fully discharged, the plates are almost completely covered with lead sulfate, sulfation, and voltage is dropped to 10.5 volts as shown in Fig 5. Note that discharging a lead acid below 10.5 volts will severely damage it. Lead sulfate is a soft material, which can be reconverted back into lead and silica gel, provided the discharged battery is immediately connected to a battery charger. If a tubular gel battery is not immediately recharged, the lead sulfate will begin to form hard crystals called hard sulfation, which cannot be reconverted by a standard battery charger. Note that always recharge the discharge battery as soon as possible to prevent loss of battery capacity due to the buildup of hard lead sulfate crystals. What happens when a battery is charged? During the battery recharge cycle lead sulfate, sulfation, begins to reconvert to lead and sulfuric acid. Positive plates active material get converted into lead dioxide and negative plates active material converts into spongy lead. During the recharging process as electricity flows through the electrolyte, water, H2O, is converted into its original elements, hydrogen and oxygen, called gassing. Gassing causes water loss and therefore lead acid batteries need to have water. Added periodically. The battery shown in figure 7 is fully recharged battery. Notice that some lead sulfate, sulfation, remains on the plates. This buildup will continue after each recharging cycle and gradually the battery will begin to lose capacity to store a full charge. Lead sulfate buildup is reduced if battery is given an equalizing charge once in every 3 month. An equalizing charge increases charging voltage to 14.4 volts or higher for a short period. This higher voltage causes gassing that equalizes, remixes, the electrolyte solution. Basic Handling Store and transport batteries in upright condition only. Don't stack batteries more than the recommended layers. Basics of Tubular Gel Battery A tubular gel battery comprises of positive plate and negative plate comprises of calcium alloy. The grid, negative plate, pasted with lead paste and transforming the paste with curing and formation processes to make spongy lead or negative active material. The lead paste is a mixture of sulfuric acid and distilled mineral water. The spine, positive plate, filled with dry powder of red and gray oxide and then sent to pickling where positive plates kept in sulfuric acid at certain decided time where lead converts into lead sulfate. 6 single 2.16 plus, 0 0.02, volt cells when connected in series makes a 12 volt battery, which when fully charged will produce a total voltage of 13.00 plus, 0 0.02, volts. The electrolyte used in the gel form, which is reactant in battery's main reaction and conducting ions for the electricity. This gel is composed of fumed silica plus sodium sulfate plus sulfuric acid. 6 single 2.16 volt cells when connected in series makes a 12 volt battery, which when fully charged will produce a total voltage of 13.00 volts. Unlike in tall tubular conventional batteries we must add water in the battery cells but in gel batteries we don't have to add any type of water because this is a sealed, non-spillable and maintenance-free battery. The special vent plug designed for oxygen recombination process to help in low water loss still lifetime with controlled closing and opening pressures. Expected life after storage of batteries Battery loss is capacity if stored for long time. Capacity loss can be partially restored, by refresh charging. During refresh charging 100% capacity cannot be restored. Some part of sulfation cannot be reduced. This is called permanent sulfation. Permanent sulfation reduces battery life. Tubular gel plate battery. Battery refresh charging. Recharging is mandatory if the shelf life is over. Tubular gel battery have CC mode. With 0.1C charging current in ampere. For up to 12 to 15 hours duration basis on end of charge criteria. End of charge criteria is 2 half hourly constant reading of terminal voltage. Lead sulfation occurs when a lead sulfate compound is deposited on the lead electrodes of a storage battery.
This is a problem if the lead sulfate compound cannot be converted back into charged material and is created when discharged batteries stand for a long time. When the state of charge drops below 80%, the plates become coated with a hard and dense layer of lead sulfate or crystallization of lead sulfate, which fill up the pores. The positive plates will be light brown and the negative plates will be dull off-white. Over time, the battery loses capacity and cannot be recharged. In the gel battery, it will know through the voltage. Unless like invented flooded battery, we can't check the specific gravity of electrolyte because this battery consists of gel type electrolyte, that's why we must judge through only terminals voltage and elaborate in the given table. How can I revive a sulfated gel battery? Voltage parameter is greater than equal to 13. Battery will charge to 100%, with no charging hours required. Voltage parameter is 12.80 to 12.90. Battery will charge 80 to 90% with 3 to 5 hours at C20. The battery to be charged up to till battery not reached to boost voltage of 14.8 volt or CC charging. Voltage parameter is 12.60 to 12.80. Battery will charge 70 to 80% with 8 hours at C20. The battery to be charged up to till battery not reached to boost voltage of 14.8 volt or CC charging. Voltage parameter is 12.40 to 12.60. Battery will charge 50 to 60% with 10 to 12 hours at C20 current. The battery to be charged up to till battery not reached to boost voltage of 14.8 volt or CC charging. How to increase the life of the battery? Recharging slowly and keeping your battery well maintained are the best ways to extend the life of your battery. Recharge a deep cycle battery as soon as possible after each discharge cycle to prevent sulfation. Battery should be placed at room temperature otherwise at high ambient temperatures, above 45 degrees Celsius, will shorten battery life because it increases positive grid corrosion growth. Shallow or the average depth of discharge, DOD, increases the battery life. For example, a battery with an average of 50% DoD will last twice as long or more as an 80% DoD. A 20% DoD battery will last 5 times longer than a 50% DoD. Try to avoid DoD that is less than 10% or greater than 80%. When in storage, recharging when the state of charge drops to 80% or below will prevent lead sulfation. Maintaining the correct state of charge while in storage, electrolyte levels, Proper tightening of terminals and removing corrosion is normally the only preventive maintenance required for a deep cycle battery. Always check terminal at regular intervals for sulfation at terminals. Never ever discharge battery below 10.8 volts. Battery installation instruction. Use petroleum jelly on terminals. Ensure proper tightening of fasteners. Always use plain as well as spring washer. Ensure that the spanner used for tightening should be insulated. Never open the vent plugs. Never add any acid slash mineral water in battery and check charger settings. Ask the dealer, customer to send filled warranty registration card to company for better after sales service. It is recommended to bench charge the batteries in every three months interval. Charging to be done with the help of external charger. Avoid keeping the tools near battery terminals. Do's and don'ts. Make sure batteries store in a cold and dry location, when not in use. Do not expose the batteries directly in rain, fire, sparks and sunlight. Always keep the battery clean. Never ever add any type of water and tea gel type of batteries. Whenever connecting the batteries in series or parallel, same capacity and model to be connected. Do not discharge batteries below 10.8 volt. Refresh charge to be given to battery once in 3 months, if stored for long periods. Do not exceed the storage period without giving refresh charge. After discharge, battery to be charged immediately to prevent from sulfation. During installation, always use insulated tools to prevent the short circuit of a battery. Common mistakes made by manufacturer of the lead acid battery. Undercharging. Continually operating the battery in a partial state of charge or storing the battery in a discharged state results in the formation of lead sulfate compounds on the plates. This condition is known as sulfation. 
Both conditions reduce the battery's performance and may cause premature battery failure. Undercharging will also cause stratification. Overcharging Continuous charging causes accelerated corrosion of the positive plates, excessive water consumption, and in some cases, damaging temperatures within a lead acid battery. Add water to the battery. In gel type of batteries never ever add any type of water, because this battery are sealed type, non-spillable and maintenance free batteries. Loosening of the fasteners. In batteries when installed always check the fasteners are properly tightened with the terminals. Also check at regular frequency of 15 days as it will prevent shock circuit. Thank you for watching the video.